previously. Right. One of the things I want to do is, of course, get up to the top of this tree where we were attacked by happies, and if I'm lucky, we can go. Okay then, what we're going to do is we're going to build a tower up, and if there is a t uh, flying island up here we will see it, if there isn't we're probably just going to get attacked by harpies. Ooh, I don't think there's one up here. I do not think there's one up here, so let's get down. It's a shame. I do want to find one at some point, though. Ah, what we could do. Hey, Lou the Merchant has arrived. What we could do, and in fact, what I think I am going to do is go find, go grab that gravitation potion. That is something that's very, very good in order to help you get some uh, flying islands, because you can basically—it's like a cheap way of flying. Speaking of cheap ways of flying, let's do this to get across. Freaking Inspector Gadget over here. There we go. Get up. Now that platform there is not finished by the way. There's a lot more to do. Now Merchant, Merchant, Merchant. Where are you hiding? I don't see... Oh, I bet he's moved into that crap shack over on the way, hasn't he? Now you are an important fellow, my Merchant guy. So I'm going, in fact, to put you down here. Which I will do. Oh, I need a table and chairs and stuff, don't I? Yep. That's why he hasn't moved into here, and that's why he's moved into the crap shack. God. Oh, it's okay. I'll get. I'll get this done eventually. Hey, merchant. Do you have anything to say? Anything? Oh. Shop. Ooh. So he's got a mining helmet. That's pretty good. You get a bit light when, but you've got not a lot of defense. Those are good piggy banks. I'm going to buy one of those, in fact. Using my one gold that I own, I'll take that. And put it in here. Basically, piggy bank, you can store your money in it. And because I keep dying and losing my money, it's probably for the best. Uh, you got some copper tools that I don't want, some torches. They're quite cheap. But yeah. So, uh, I need that wood. Which I didn't leave in here. I left it in here. I see some slime. I need some more torches. Where do I keep my slime? Here it is. Oh, we've got lots of it. We've got two stacks of it, in fact. So let's use this stack. Go across here. And we want to make for you, my friend, a... Well, for me, a bunch of torches. Uh, no, I've made loads of fences and I'm pretty sure loads of campfires. Oh, we've got 40 fences. Right. <laughs> for you... What do I want? The sawmill? I don't know. Table and chair. Yeah, I think I want the sawmill. Oh, I'll make you a nice... Um... Ooh. Ooh, I don't know, actually. What should we get for you, my friend? Something made out of mahogany. Yes. You're going to love your new digs. You're going to love them. Mahogany dresser, pretty much the same. Mahogany workbench looks quite nice actually. Going up to. Was ever on this one? Mahogany table. Sure. And a mahogany chair for you. How will you like that, my friend? You're gonna love it, aren't you? You're gonna love it. Now, if I go across here. And this is where he's gonna live. The most dangerous place because it's up against the outside world. But I'm thinking that by simply having him living here, he will um, stop the enemies from spawning on the outside. Where's the chair gone? There it is. Oops. So we'll give you your chair. You want it away from all the doors. Uh, so here. And then maybe here. And this should say suitable housing. If we check by pushing blue, this housing is suitable. So we want to assign Lewis to this room. And he's living in here now. Perfect. Oh, so good. What I might do is actually move someone in to my room. 
quite frankly, I'm never really going to sleep in my own room, am I? Um, spend time in my own room. I'll just put a bed in somebody else's room here, and then when I need to sleep, I can just do that. Uh, and have my workstation up there, whatever. And then that should hopefully stop the stuff spawning on this side, too. Now you can see I've left these holes open here as windows. Uh, that does mean stuff can possibly spawn in there. It hasn't, but it could, which is why I wanted the glass walls. Uh, let's see, merchant, you're moving in, etc, 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 we want, ah, gravitation potion. We're definitely going to get some kind of secret treasure today, I am looking forward to it. Where would I keep a, such a thing? Right, you only have one and it lasts for three minutes. So basically we need to pick a direction and go in that direction. And while I'm here, I'm going to quickly put down this uh, piggy bank let's you know why not stick on this table because that's an acorn that's right there we go piggy bank on there we will pause it oh crap that'll go back in the right order I think it did I didn't know you could store items in a piggy bank I could have sworn it just used to be for money and nothing else that is interesting that is very interesting. Right, so which direction should we go in? I think we should go to the uh, left, because we haven't been all the way to the beach. We'll probably make it to the beach. Also, I'm pretty sure... Uh, why can't I...? There we go. I'm pretty sure as well, uh, we're probably going to get our bums kicked by... Oh, by some harpies. Unless we can get into the um, treasure room fairly quick. So let's... You know what, let's just drink it right here. <gasps> Caitlin the nurse has arrived! Now she's the one I'm thinking about maybe moving into my own room. Uh, not just because she's a lady, but because she's very important. She can heal you. Uh, you can just wander around for a while, Caitlin. We'll get you set up la later. Let's drink this gravitation potion. Oh! How do we change again? Um. No. Am I falling down? Oh, this is weird. Oh, well, that didn't work. <laughs> that has changed. It didn't used to be like that. It must be in the options somewhere. Settings. Yeah, gravitation flips weld. No, gravitation flips character. That's what we wanted. And uh, unfortunately, I don't think I have any more gravitation potions. Uh, I don't think I do. Oh, that sucks. We're going to go on a journey. Fine, Caitlin the nurse, you can come and live with me, and we're going to make for you some stuff. Do I have all the wood on me still? Yes. You know what, I'm going to make you some glass furniture. I don't have any glass. I tend it all into glass walls. Let's just borrow a bit of this. 40 of it will do, I think. Cook that up uh, by doing this. And then, are we in the right place? Surely a sawmill wouldn't be for... Ooh, like glass chair doesn't look nice. Glass table, we'll take that. What's this? Ooh, glass platforms, I like the look of those. I didn't know you could make those. That is interesting. They could come in very handy. Glass door, nah. What do we need? A table, don't we? We need some kind of... No, we made a table, we need a comfort item. No, Ness. Nice. No, I'm going to do for you. I'm going to do something you're going to very much enjoy. I'm going to borrow some of this. And then anvil, I think I need. If we go down. Where would it be? Not at all. Do we need more stuff? Ah, there's the lampposts. I knew I could make those at some point. Those will come in handy. Where is it? Oh, we need two more pieces of iron. Fair enough. Stick those in there too. I know I'm wasting all my iron, but you know, you've got to live in comfort, and as such, we're going to get your bathtub as your luxury item. Now, I don't think this is classed as suitable housing right now, because, well... Oh, I don't... The bath's facing the wrong... No, that, that, that'd be okay. And then a table. 
uh, there for all your... That's huge! There's a huge table. Give me that back. Let's put it back. There. Like so. Now, is this suitable housing? Let's check. It's missing a chair. It's got a bath. Why would you need a chair? Fine. Uh, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make you a throne. Don't even think about it. We want to make you a nice chair of... Sure, you can have a glass chair. Why not? I'm not sure it's the comfiest, and I'm sure if you sit down too fast, you might get shards up your boot. There you go, glass table, glass chair. And check. This housing is suitable. Caitlin, move in here. There we go, she's living in here now. She's got her own bathtub. Fantastic. Now that should theoretically stop. <gasps> Guido the paint has arrived. I don't think, I think Painter is a new NPC, because I didn't have him in my old world. Yeah, so having this, uh, having a nest there, and having the merchant here should stop stuff spawning in this sort of central area here, which is good. Now, where is Guido the Painter? Just let yourself straight into my house, why don't you? Hey, oh, oh, stay there, Guido, what do you want? Talk to me. Talk to me, Guido. I hope it doesn't rain again until this paint dries, that would be a disaster. Like a paintbrush. Use of paint to colour blocks. Interesting. Use of paint to colour walls. Remove paint. Five oh, different paints. That's awesome. Daylight can be placed. V Costamura. And good morning. Oh, some paintings. So I can paint these bricks, it looks like. Uh, but I like that. I like the green of them. It looks like an old, worn down castle. But it does mean for this guy, we're going to have to build some more stuff for him in order to get him to move in. We need for you, my friend, a table. And... You know what? Where was... The, what do I need? I need a sawmill. For you, we're going to give you, like, a, a banquet table because it looks like one of those things painters use for rolling out the wallpaper and whatnot. And a stool. In fact, two of them. And I might put a plank on the top of it because... Again... That looks like something that painters would use. Now, my paintery friend... You're not living with me. Don't you even think about it. Uh, you can live... In fact, I don't think I'm going to use you that often. So I'm going to move you... Upper floor... To... Uh, this far corner. That sound good? Excellent. Right, so we want you to have a table... Like that. And then pop that torch up, it's going to get really dark. But don't you worry, I have lots of torches that don't stack properly. Uh, oops, just put one of these up here for now. Like that and that. And then we want some stools. If I put one here and then another one here. And what if I were to just go like this? No, that looks terrible. That looks freaking terrible. What was I thinking? What I want is a platform. Do I have any platforms? No, but they are very easy to make. And done. <laughs> Let's put it in there. Oh, that looks pretty good. I like it. I like it. Right, let's check. Suitable housing. Yes. So we're going to assign... The guide to this room. I you see his fat on his far side, which I'm guessing means he's a DLC guy. Oh, we can check how many people there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Nineteen. Interesting. I think I've got that exactly that many rooms. Four, eight, twelve. Oops. Sixteen, eighteen. 16, 18, 20, 22. We've got, more than, we've got more than enough rooms. Some of these can be spare. Maybe I'll move the nest out of mine. Uh, yes, a guide. Uh, live here, please. Where are you? Why is this flag down there? Why did a bunny just explode?
No bunny. Blech. Cool. I'm getting all the people moved in. Although, how many people do we have living with us? That's not good. Uh, that's not good for a number of reasons. Uh, number one is that now that I have four people, I believe that is the necessary requirement for the I have Cthulhu boss to spawn. And I'm not ready to fight him just yet. Uh, let's see, I need... I don't even need to come back here to do this, but I need a bunch of platforms. Like, a proper bunch of them. 100? Sure. 97 torches will do for now. I'm going to move these across here. Move that over there. And this over here. And why is my jewel hook on there? It doesn't want to be on there. Oh my, everything's just going a bit wonk. And... There. Right, so let's quickly... What we want to do is a... Whoa, 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 whoa. Work our way through back to where... Oh, uh, at some point I'm going to have to go back to my old world. Because I can lay a dirt down here for a garden. But it won't have any grass on it. But in my other world, I have like a magic wand that spontaneously grows grass. So I'll have to bring that across. Again, it's purely for like aesthetic purposes and saving time. I'm trying to manually grow some grass all the way along it by linking it to some actual grass patch somewhere. Can I... No! I want to get up here. There we go. I've got this magic star. At some point as well I'm going to have to move someone to the top floor and it'll stop enemies spawning on here. But I think with the amount of people we've got right now, no enemy should ever spawn within our base. I can't see anything. Right, here we go. So what we want to do now is... Have we got any bricks? This will do. Just for temporary purposes, we want to do... How high? Maybe ten off. Perfect. That will now fly. You couldn't place it before, but it will now fly, so it doesn't matter. And we're going to run this the entire length. I remember I said you will fight um, bosses and stuff and you need a platform to run along to provide maximum protection. Another handy thing is to have one of these, in fact two or three of these, running the entire length of it because then uh, you also have the vertical dodge as well as the horizontal. Also protection these scumbags who can't get through it. <laughs> so we need to craft up a lot more, a lot, 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 I think as many as I can. 